The Bible is calling us to repent. The Bible is calling us to repent. Unless a man be born again, unless a woman be born again, they cannot see the kingdom of God. I don't care if you were saved at the altar. I don't care if you go to church every Sunday or if you go to worship every Saturday. I don't care if you read your Bible day in and day out. If there's no true, real repentance, you're not amongst the remnant. You're not amongst those whom he calls his chosen people. Many are called. Many of us have been saved. But just because we've been born again, it does not mean there's true repentance. Because Nicodemus was born again with the encounter with God in Christ. But it's what he did when he left. It's how he acted when he left. Did he go back into the world and go as the Samaritan woman preaching and teaching and saying, I know a man. Are we so proud in ourselves that it's all about us, that we preach us instead of preaching Christ and him crucified. We preach our way and agenda and the things that we've accomplished and built instead of the kingdom of God. Have we forsaken the kingdom of God? Repent. This is the remnant's message. And so when we see, I'm going, I'm going to hurt some feelings today. I'm going to say some truths today. If we don't see the kingdom of God and the gospel of Jesus Christ being preached on the altar, being preached in the ministry, they need to repent. They need to get back to the message of the remnant because the apostles, the, the prophets, those disciples, they went preaching. Repent. The kingdom of God is at hand. This is the time that we should be preaching the message of repentance. This is the time that we should be preparing the people to become citizens of the kingdom of God. Because our gifts are not going to get us into the kingdom. Our works are not going to get us into the kingdom. Our lifestyles are not going to get us into the kingdom. It's the remnant message. It's the true, real repentance of the heart that's going to get us in the message. The Bible says that the kingdom of God suffers by violence, but the violence must take it by force. There's no laughter and no happiness when we're speaking and teaching and preaching the message that's going to save humanity, those who are called by God's chosen will. The message is that they have to change. They have to be about the Father's business. What I have done, you shall do. Examine your life. 